Welcome to another episode about how to taste wine. Today we're focusing on the wine characteristic of sweetness, and we're going to do that by adding sugar to red wine. So sweetness in wine, probably one of the easier characteristics to describe. I think we all know what sweetness tastes like. Sweetness, of course, comes from sugars that remain in, in the wine after it's been fermented. It's called residual sugars. So the grapes have sugars in them and you mash the grapes, you get the juice, and then it goes through the fermentation process. You add the yeast and the yeast they do their thing, right? They're consuming the sugars, they're farting out that CO2, and they're producing the alcohol. But once it's all done, and the, the winery can control this whole process, but once it's done, there's gonna be some residual sugars left in the wine, and all wines are gonna have it. Even a dry white wine might have a little bit of residual sugar, but you're not gonna taste it because of the acid that's in that white wine. The, the acidity kind of masks the sweetness of that residual sugar. And if you didn't watch my video about acidity in wine, I'll link it up there. Be sure to check that one out. But sweetness coming from sugar in the grape, that's where it comes from. And today our experiment, we're gonna add a little sugar to the wine. We're gonna compare it to our trusty red that I have here. This is a Syrah dry red wine. So not a very sweet taste in this but we will bump it up with the sugar, you know, and it might kind of sound like a weird thing to be adding the sugar to it, but you're trying to isolate that characteristic, right, of sweetness. So we'll add it in there, it'll, it'll be extreme, so we'll definitely be able to taste it, and then we can compare it. And this is how we develop our palates, right? So these wine characteristics, we're developing our palate, we're learning how to taste wine, and this is something that you can do at home as well, it's a very easy thing. So I have the sugar in here already. Been sitting in here probably 10 minutes maybe. I can still see a little bit at the bottom, but I'm hoping that has dissolved. First thing we gotta do here, we have to taste the control, just to kind of prime our palate. So we'll go ahead and give this one a taste. Just to remember what it tastes like, give us a little baseline to have it something to compare to. Now, let's get into this sugar wine here. This one, they said you can actually give this a smell. All, all my other ones about how to taste wine with the tannins, with the black tea, the acidity, with the lemon juice, not smelling it because you're not focusing on that at all. But this one, I guess, because it's probably it's not really that crazy of a thing to, to have the sugar. Like I said, all wine has sugar in it anyway. So it's not that crazy. So I guess we can go ahead and give it a smell here to be able to see if there's a difference in that. So it doesn't really smell sweet. It smells different, but I wouldn't say that it smells sweet. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Definitely smells different though. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yep. Getting a little bit of this, the sweetness. Yep. For sure. Definitely tastes sweeter. I mean, we added sugar. Pretty, what a crazy idea. Go back to the control. I think maybe the the way that it feels in your mouth might be a little bit different too. We'll give it one more taste. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really change the, to the taste of the wine all that much. Because I guess because there's sugar in there already, it's not, it doesn't make it really taste crazy or anything. It's definitely sweeter and it doesn't taste bad or anything but I think we all know what sweetness tastes like. That's a pretty easy one to be able to, to pick out. With these experiments, you can do them at home too, so I would suggest everybody try it at home. It's very easy. We can help develop our palates. And let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this experiment, but it doesn't even have to be that. You don't have to try this experiment. Let me know how you like to taste wine. And if that is that you take a sip of wine, you taste it, 
and you know that you like it and that's it, that is perfectly fine. Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. But for now, cheers. <laughs>